this is a freshly dead painted lady. Um, it's much easier to spread freshly dead painted ladies than old ones. Actually, if they're dry, you won't be able to spread them, and you have to put them in a relaxing jar for 24 hours. Um, even then, they're not quite as easy to spread as freshly dead ones. You grab it like this, doing minimal holding of the wings so you don't scrape off the scales. But what you do is you get a pin of appropriate size, and it should be reasonably stiff. Actually, what you'd use for this guy is either a number two or number three pin, but um, just something that's reasonably stiff and not huge. And then you kind of you can kind of spread the wings a little bit, and then pierce him actually straight down through the thorax, so that the pin is perpendicular to the body and perpendicular to the long axis as well. And then push it through until you've got about that much there. And then bring it to your spreading board and pick a gap that is going to fit the body down into it. And what I've done with this spreading board is kind of spread it so that it's narrower at one end and a little wider at the other end so that I can just select a the right groove size. So, I think it's right about here. It'd be about the right groove size. So we get the pin firmly in the cork at the bottom, or actually it's balsa. And then push the body down until it's like that. So that the wings, when they come down, are right on the spreading board. And then take a very fine pin. And here's a pretty fine one. And go for the right behind, actually, what's the uh, subcostal vein here. But stick a pin right in there. And then move it up in the arc of the wing. Don't pull it straight up, but in the arc of the wing. And pull it up until the trailing edge of the forewing is perpendicular to the body. Now, the body's a little skew-if at the moment. So, um, but, so I've got it actually perpendicular to the axis of the spreading board there. Notice that I've got the pin kind of slanted so it stays in there. Then go after the other wing and again pierce right behind the subcostal vein and bring it forward. And bring it forward. You really want to uh, bring it forward until it's right opposite that one. But what I'm doing is I'm accidentally kind of pulling out the, the hind wing here. And um, I don't want to pull it out completely because I want it to slip under the forewing. Now, the hind wing should be brought forward. There isn't a very strong vein there, so hopefully pick something um, that fits there. And bring it forward until there's a gap in there, but not a sort of a narrow V gap. Actually, it's perfect over on the uh, left side over here. And then just anchor that. And then you want to prop up the body because the body, if especially if it's freshly dead, will sag. And so I'm going to bring up the body and just put two crossed pins underneath it just to hold it up like that. And the only other thing you might want to do is bring out the antennae. Now this guy, is, we deliberately picked a slightly defective guy here, and his antennae actually are not visible. I think they got all curled up there. But you can bring those up and sort of pin them right out nicely where I've got just pinned that pin. Okay, the last step is just putting some paper strips over the wings here. Sort of unfortunately it obscures the wings, but you can remember where they are. Take a pin and pin it in firmly at the top. Make sure it's flat and then pin it at the posterior end. Um, off the surface of the wings is, is better, just so that you don't pierce the wings yet again. Now, do the same on the other side here. This is catching here on this wing. Do the same there. Pin that down. Pin them firmly too. You don't want them pulling out. And there. And that's your completely prepared butterfly. 
Actually, if you've got these down firmly enough, you could remove the guiding pins uh, that you use to pull the wings up with, but um, I'm going to just leave them in place for this one. Actually, I see one little glitch I don't like too much. There's a little crook up in this wing here. I'm going to just try and flatten that out a bit. There. Well, actually, I'm going to reposition this to try and get that a little flatter. There we are. Okay. Now what you do is you leave that for, actually 24 hours is usually enough. I might leave that one 48 hours. Uh, and what's happening is he's just drying, and he's, uh, or she, and it'll dry in place. And um, probably the body won't dry completely in 48, but the wings uh, will dry in their location. And then you can remove all the pins, except, of course, the one through the thorax, and um, you've got a pinned butterfly. The last step you'll probably want to do is move the butterfly up a little higher on the pin. The usual rule for insects is they should be about uh, three quarters, two thirds to three quarters of a way to the top. The only slight problem there is that sometimes the insect gets too dry before you do that, but usually um, you can do it fairly nicely a couple of days after you initially spread it. 